Take a moment right here Feeling like it's out here Running, running Peace fans, Monkey D. Shifer here, and today we're going to do a signature technique video on Jim Bay and his Bang Upon Drill. Now, we've seen how the Bang Upon Drill got flushed out with him doing it on Big Mom. He did it previously, you know, on Fisherman I Art do what Sume, but it wasn't as much dramatized as it was when he did it on Big Mom. So, we're going to talk about his signature technique. All right, so before we talk about, you know, the Bang Upon Drill, we're going to talk about the Fisherman Karate. Okay, stated by Jim Bay. All right, the secrets to fisherman karate is the mastery of water manipulation in your direct facility. All right, and with that power, you can send impactful and powerful waves inside your opponent's body. Once I understand that, it had my mind crazy and wondering, like, what if the forbidden technique of fisherman karate is to manipulate uh, blood in someone's body? That would be so crazy. I, I could see it now, Jimmy, like, oh, don't use that. I can never use that move because... That's forbidden. That is forbidden. You can't do that, you know. So, I'm thinking if you can manipulate the water in someone's body, because every living thing, I, I'm pretty sure in one piece, have water inside the body. So, everyone is not immune to the fisherman karate. So, I thought about something also with uh with Sir Crocodile. You know, if Sir Crocodile turned into to sand completely, uh, would fisherman karate work on him? I don't know. Leave a comment what you think about that. But anyways, though, I think that, if they can um, manipulate the water inside someone's body, they might just can manipulate the blood in someone's body also. That might be the forbidden technique, but we're going to talk about that later. So, let's get into the Vanga Punk drill. Now, like I said, we've seen this get flushed out used on Big Mom, and it was a very impactful punch. Now, when everybody reacted to this, I was not surprised because we've seen that, you know, Big Mom is not invincible, all right? These young girls are not invincible. All right, so they can beat, punch, hit, and everything else. Granted, that big mom was weak. Okay, I give you that. A little father because she was hungry. She was skinny. And um, it is Jinbei, you know, straw hat Jinbei. Sorry about that. So I feel that, you know, Jinbei is powerful. And we've seen that his signature technique is on a top tier level. This technique is very, very powerful. As we've seen with big mom, like she got pushed all the way back, you know, and she needed Zeus to, you know, come catch her it seemed like she was like dazed for a little second because she didn't call zeus upon herself like zeus come catch me you know zeus said mama mama and came then and you know and grabbed her swooped right off her feet excuse me so i think this technique is something to be emphasis about because this is very strong okay now we're seeing that with this technique you know jimbe claimed at the death already of the ocean heard a ball of water in his hand you know and thrusted it right at um Big Mom's um stomach. Now, when that impactful moment, it was like the all the water. She was already wet on top of that, you know. Then he uh, like had all the water around him, and come and crafted to like a water ball, you know. So he bend the water around him, controlling it and making it to a, a huge palm thrust. So. I would think that this technique is a second technique that most fishermen cannot use because how powerful it is, you know. I think this 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 kind of technique is on a level of a Rossin gun and a Chidori, okay? Because this technique is it it, it, it was it pit is so powerful. Like I couldn't think about no other fisherman using this technique other than probably maybe if Horror Jones was on more steroids. <laughs> but not just fishermen can use fisherman karate. We see Koala for the Revolutionary Army, she also uses fisherman karate. So it's not only for the fishermen, people outside the fisherman race can use fisherman karate. And I see why the humans fear them so bad because they are 10 times stronger than a human being. You know, humans are like what they fear. They seem like it would be rebellion. They would conquer against us. So I feel like. I see why they was in so much scrutinizing and racism going on because fishermen are, are very strong. Like they have a technique that you know not immune for anybody. You so they're they're very and you know I love fisherman tiger. I love fisherman tiger. That that guy's amazing. But sorry to dramatize about that. But I feel that this move is somewhat should be a signature move for uh, Jim Bay because he only used it twice in this whole series. All right, so. 
within the coming events of the new episode of uh, One Piece, I think it's 868, there will be a new technique. I won't get no spoilers out at all. No spoilers at all. So whoever watched the anime only. I'm just going to say I'm doing more signature techniques to lead up into that moment of the new episode of One Piece. Now, granted, I don't watch the uh, One Piece episodes. You know, I love the uh, manga. I don't want, I don't watch the uh, anime. But I do catch glimpses here and there of the techniques in the fights because I love to see it animated. Who doesn't? All right. But. So, I would speculate that if you've seen the Vanguard drill, you know, you see how powerful it is. I was really dramatized when, you know, Jinbei hit Big Mom with it. Oh, my God. That, that was amazing. Amazing feat for that. So, people would, would speculate like, oh, she was fatherized. You know, that does not count. Well, um, if you didn't want to sume and want to sume down a uh, lost consciousness, I'm pretty sure that this should count for a little V for Jinbei, you know, to get that hit. He knows how strong Big Mom is, you know, so I don't think anything counts at this moment to just to get away from Big Mom, how powerful she is. So I can't blame him from that right there, all right, but that's a good V for Jinbei to see how his power scaling is. You know, we had uh, introduced that, I'm sorry, we did introduce that Jinbei is officially other Star Hats, you know, he has a bounty of 438 million belly bounty. People will recognize Jinbei as a strong opponent. Not just that. This fisherman crying thing is kind of hat. It's like it's it's crazy. If you can really impact the water inside someone's body, like you're not immune to it. Like seriously, like, human being's body is 60% water. So going on through that, I think a giant will be somewhat weak against the fisherman because they probably got up to like what 340% of their body are water. So I would think to speculate that. Uh, Oh my god, like, like I seen about Asume, when he got hit with the Vegan Punk drill, it hurt his soul. It, uh, KO. All right, so he's a giant. A giant. So it got to be at least 304% of his body is water. So that's why I probably hit him so hard. And, you know, Jinbei is one of the mastery of fisherman karate. So I think that his uh, level of, uh, of water manipulation at a top tier level. So I think that with you fighting Jinbei and you're a giant, and your body is made up of like 300% of water. That fisherman karate is going to kill you. Alright. But we've seen Jinbei use some of fisherman karate and impel down. We've seen that it wasn't flushed out until now. That the people who was uh, Jinbei was facing. They was getting bent. Like their water was like. They, they probably was getting sucked in. They were getting punched out of nowhere. And I was like basically saying like. Okay. Well he's not hitting them. So what is this thing going on? Like what is fisherman karate? And so it got flushed out, and now we know that Fisherman, Durali, the Fisherman Karate sorry, deals with the water inside you. Uh, if you can manipulate the, the directly the water around you in your facility, you know, you can use Fisherman Karate on someone else so th to impact the, uh, the water inside their body. And this is, uh, this is an amazing technique. Uh, I'm going to give it an a, a A. I'm going to write this technique an A because this was an amazing technique on a Yonko. All right, so with like probably like three or five of these on Yonko, maybe five to ten, maybe for for, for Kaido. <laughs> I don't know around that margin that it might just put a ding, ding, ding. It might hit you a little hard, okay? But nonetheless, this technique is amazing, and that is Jim Bay's signature technique, the Vanga Punk drill. And I think this technique is way more powerful than anything Hoda Jones used. We've seen that Hoda Jones used a few moves that was impactful with his steroids, but they was very impactful. And I feel that if if if, if Hoda could learn stuff like this, you know, plus with steroids, the Vanga Punk drill, oh my god, Luffy probably would have got would have had to use maybe gear forth on Hoda. But I won't check it to that far because we've seen that Luffy just used Gear Third to take care of Gear Second and Gear Third Mister to take care of Hunter Jones. But with steroids, he came a lot powerful. But Luffy took care of him easily. Most of the whole, most of the um arts fall into that. Luffy didn't put too much time and effort in. But now in Wano, man, Luffy gonna need a whole bag of tricks for Kaido and his company. I'm not gonna lie to you. But we've seen that hopefully Jim Bay will come in the fray. I'm hoping that we know that he'll come in a fray. I'm thinking that he'll come make his grand entrance when you know somebody getting attacked, getting beat up, and you know Jimbei come in and bam, or that it'll be a last hope. You know Jimbei surprise attack. You know come in and hit somebody. Hopefully he might save somebody like Sanji, Zoro, 
or Luffy. I don't know why, but I just want to see Jinbei interact with Zoro much more. But we see that Jinbei will come in the fray, hopefully, in Wano. We just got Big Mom in here. <laughs> so we're going to need everything for this alliance. So we're going to need Jinbei for this whole thing. But I'm pretty sure that Big Mom will try to battle out with Kaido anyway. Uh, Bygones will be bygones with Luffy and company. I'm going to stick by my theory. Uh, to the death of me fans, all right, with that uh, Straw Hat and Big Mom Alliance versus Kaido, all right. Um, but that is all I wanted to comment on the Vanga Punjure. This is my signature move series that I'm going to start off with this whole week, okay, One Piece fans. But that's the video. Like, comment, subscribe to my video to get more of me. And if you like my video, if you did like my video, hopefully, like my video, all right. <laughs> I'm Uncle D. Schiffer, and I'm signing out.